Herschel Monument dedicated to Confederate soldiers will be removed very soon from Garfield Park. Mayor Joe Hodgson announced today the monument could be removed as early as next week. CBS 4's Courtney Crown is getting reaction to the mayor's decision. It's upsetting. It's very upsetting. Joe Creasy has lived near Garfield Park since he was 14 years old and does not want this monument dedicated to 1600 Confederate soldiers who died as prisoners of war at Camp Morton to go. It's to remember the tragedy of the Civil War that here in Indianapolis we had a prisoner of war camp for Americans. 1616 of them died and this is just to remind us if we forget our history where are we going to go? Others feel the same way. I think right or wrong, it's it's history, and you, you really can't change that. All you can do is change what's here forward. I mean, it's a symbol of our history. It's the past. I'm not saying it's good or bad. Mayor Joe Hogsett says this monument came to Garfield Park in 1928 from Greenlawn Cemetery after public officials active in the KKK wanted more people to see it. Now, nearly 100 years later, Many people do not even know it is here. I never gave it even two thoughts, uh, so I wanted to just make sure that you know I was a little bit more informed. Quentin Horn is more encouraged from the movement against racial injustice, not a removed monument. It doesn't really make that much of a difference to me. What makes a difference to me is the, the changes that we're making as a society to treat each other better. Community advocate Samantha Douglas is grateful it will be removed, but says it seems insignificant right now. While I appreciate it's being taken down, I wish I would have saw a press conference for him supporting a black agenda or supporting major moves to dismantle a system like I said, that has oppressed our people for hundreds of years. The Parks Board resolved to remove the monument in 2017, though that did not mean it had to go. For me, it was kind of like, okay, so what, we're actually putting momentum behind a decision that was already made three years ago? We do not know yet where it will go once it is removed. On the near south side, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News. And